Nice. Okay, what next? And now rebalance the voltage. Finished. Let's see if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. Alright. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. 
I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri? Anything. I'm on my way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Huh. Looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. Wonder what my number one fan thinks about the Fisk takedown. This is Just a Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two time! Two time Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, blood the book! And. And as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it! Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speak! Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one last pop box is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. Soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he... He's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the street. But does that whip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! Ah, uh, someday, Jonah. I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Someday. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? 
You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Until an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. I'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. Input bands have been shifted. Subtle. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it.